<laughs> All right, team. Okay, team. So, <clears throat> show me and show everybody else how wide was the vision. Show me how wide. <laughs> it's wide. And how high? High. So you can see a lot more. And when you read, if you are sitting well, book is here, screen there. You can see it all with your peripheral vision. So you can read so much more. And therefore, we can go on with this slide on and on and on. But I'm going to give you brrr, fast speed my mapping. So that is what happens. That's the receivers. That's how the periphery works. That's another value. Should you use a guide? Yes, you should. A guide, like the baby does, like the child does. The brain and I like a guide. And in the learning course, you'll learn how to do that in many different ways on different kinds of books. So, this is assimilation. And therefore, reading, right, is called speed reading. But just look at this mind map. Look at the shape of it. It's like a brain, isn't it? The side vision of the brain, the side side of it. So draw a brain around it, around your mind map. Because it's your brain that does the reading, not your eyes. It's your brain that does it. So when you focus on your brain, the brain says, yeah, I'll just use these super lenses, this super piece of machine. I will just do it. And therefore, this is brain reading. Brain reading. This is what you do. And therefore, when you mind map reading, when you know the definition of mind map, you can then read. And therefore, we're going to go back to the thinking of reading. What's the first branch on the definition? First branch? Yeah, don't look at your mind map. <laughs> it's in here. It's a recognition. <clears throat> What's the second branch? Assimilation. So recognition and assimilation. Reading. So is reading the recognition of linguistic symbols? Partly. Partly. How many of you read faces? How many of you read faces? So now know what reading is. Assimilate them. Because we have been told, do not look. Do not use the 130 million receivers. Don't use them, but now go and look at them, see them. Wow, what a fabulous face that is. Different face. Oh, none of these faces look the same at all. Really different. Different eyes, different eyebrows, different lips, different everything. So read faces. What about the human being? Can you read a human being? Can you read a human? 
Yes, you can. It's what good anatomists do. You know, what are these muscles? You can read the way those are moving or not. How many of you read animals? How many of you read animals? How many of you don't read animals? From now on, go out and read them. Because all those animals that you don't read, read you. Watch, watch those dogs. And you don't see our dogs. Don't think dogs. Think, wow, I'm going to read that. And when you read it, and you read it well, it will not bite you. But if you think dog, it's going to read you and think, rough. <laughs> so read it. How many of you at night, when it's a beautiful night, read the sky? Ta-da. So read the sky. Read the stars. Read. How many of you read the environment? Read it. Mother Nature talks to you and gives you a lot of reading to do. So you are now a reader and you know what reading is and you are creating your internal universes reading the external universe. How many of you are scientists? <laughs> How many of you are artists? Da -da. How many of you are teachers? <clears throat> How many of you are poets in your mind? How many of you are really good readers? The building of universes. Team, I've been with you for only a few hours, but it has been wonderful for me to be with you. Because my life is to meet more artists, more scientists, more people who like to play, more learners, more mind mappers, more metacognitive thinkers. So I have been in my playground. This is my playground. And I hope that you loved being in our playground. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.